Hi everyone, welcome back live and today we have a live session with Sandeep Nagpal. He's an interior designer and also I have painted a lot of cafes with him to begin with Farmer's Cafe, Just in Pool at Santa Cruz, a Bungalow in Mud Island and a lot more stuff. So we are going to discuss about interior designing, architecture and a mission that he's doing which is called Scrap to Fab. Hi Abhin. Hello Approach Sheikh. Hello Ankit Yadav. So, we are okay. We have a lot of people joining in and waving out. Hello Durga. Um, Vilayat, I am doing good. How are you? So, we are going to wait for Sandeep Nagpal to join in. I hope you have your questions ready. We also have to hear about his story about Scrap to Fab. So scrap to fab is where you know they have been taking stuff like all the scrap stuff which goes waste usually and making amazing stuff from that from pen sand to vases and all of that so yes that is what we're going to do today and um, yes saran wave back to you princing So what are y'all doing while quarantine? Are y'all making things out of scrap? Did y'all do something on Earth Day? Because this is the thing that he started on Earth Day. Hello Vandana, Mami. Welcome on our live session. Mr. Manku. Hi. Hi Divij. Hello Rajesh. Uh, Rajesh, let me tell you, Sandeep Nagpal is also a Sindhi and we painted a Sindhi restaurant which is called Just Sinful. You can see those pictures on my story. And Sandeep has joined in from Alchemy Design Studio. Hi Dr. Joe. Hi with Leo Club. And I have just sent a request to Alchemy Design Studio. We should have very nice. The walls are painted by me, Rajesh, at Just in Full. Hello, Atul, sir. Hello, Sunny. Hi, Shweta. How are you? Hi, everybody. So, everyone, this is Sandeep Nagpal. Um, he has started his Alchemy Design Studio years back and gave me the opportunity to paint walls for him for the cafes that he designed. So, Sunny, tell me, how did you get into architecture and interior designing? What excited you to study that? Okay. Uh, well, honestly, if you want, to be, want me to be absolutely honest. Absolutely I, honest. So, I, I buried myself under, you know, a pile of books throughout school life. Being from a business background, I had no clue about art, history, architecture, nothing. But I just want, didn't want to do that anymore. I needed something more liberating. So I took up architecture. And uh, it's only when I got exposed to all of this is when I developed that passion for it. So to begin with, I wouldn't say that I was born to do this or something like that. So I'm not going to lie. Okay, so there are a few people. Karina, Silky, Sadna, Didi and all are saying hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Thank hi, everyone. <laughs> so when you started, what was the first project that you did? Well, the first project was actually, uh, you know, it was a health oriented cafe because I am a fitness enthusiast. So uh, in 10 years, I was trained as an architect. So at that point, I never thought that interior designing is something that I'm going to do. But, you know, sometimes you try to find your passions and sometimes your passions find you. So coming back Ooh. to that, because I'm a fitness enthusiast, you know, I got involved with a cafe. We, we co-own the cafe and all. So like, why to tell someone else to design it? Even though I'm an architect, I can take up the interiors. Correct. So we did, we did that up. And honestly, the response was phenomenal. And that's how the journey started towards interior designing in a way, you know. And that was the first so time when we both started working together. Because I think the last cafe was the first time I painted those really big yes. doodles that's that right. were kept outside. And uh, correct, that's correct. how our journey when it came to painting started. And from yes. there, obviously, there was no looking back. There was Farmer's Cafe. There was Just in Full. And I've been a part Absolutely. of a lot of your projects. You've been, so, you've been a big part of the journey. Exactly. So you, you know it all. You've seen what we do and how, how you know, these, these have been sweet accidents, I should say. Because this wasn't the plan, right? 
you plan mm-hmm. something and something else happens but it's it's uh, it's for the good so i'm i'm enjoying it yeah they always say you know tell if you want to make god laugh tell them your story and you know he start laughing because he always has some other plans and luckily whatever plans he's had for us it's always been super good always so correct correct sunny why did you think of alchemy as the name like for your brand okay so see alchemy is a name i thought of probably 10 15 years back when i was actually studying architecture oh, you know okay. I, people who are not even from the architectural background they would come and say that oh you're an architect that means you make something out of nothing you know like this was a very common thing to hear so i just thought a little deeper about it and i'm like yeah that is so true right i mean if you when we look at materials materials themselves have no like if you look at plywood you're like okay does this have any value you know true. is it is it can it be perceived as something uh, you know rich in a way but then when we apply our minds we apply our skill sets and put it together and that's when the value elevates so alchemy was actually a branch of science where they would turn these waste metals into gold and okay. everyone would be like what the hell how did this happen you know it was some sort of magic in a way so they were the magicians of that time in a way the, the chemists were the magicians so it's the analogy to that it's the analogy to and that which is I why think- Thought of the name. That's exactly what your brand does. You create magic out of a place that has nothing. Like I still remember when I came to the Mud Island bungalow that we painted. When I saw it for the first time, I'm like, "Ye kya?" And by the end, when I saw your finished product, it was totally hmm. like you transport the place. So yeah, you aren't Correct. less than a magician. So the name just is well, apt for it. I won't say that I'll accept that, but yeah, we try our best. <laughs> no i can right. see that so that's why so even your this no, new journey hmm. scrap to sorry sorry i'm cutting you sorry i'm cutting you but that that was actually a jungle at once the mud island bungalow was actually a jungle at once like literally there was nothing so so, so that not transition wrong. to see it yeah the two to three years when we you know being involved with it and seeing it uh, get to the other side was was a fascinating journey and i'm so glad that you were a big part of it and you know you know how we made the bathroom out there look like it's some it, it's one of the highlights yeah, like it's a bungalow in itself exactly like how you so ruin some go, some of the goa structure this, when i reached hmm. the mud island bungalow uh, i don't know if you hmm. remember this i reached the mud island bungalow with all my art stuff and all and i was like all excited to yes, paint yes yes i remember and obviously the walls were really huge and um, we finalized on something and i think that was the first time i climbed on that paranj pe jo kehte jo carpenter jis pe chadte hain paranji 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 jo <laughs> i remember telling you about these words and all you like what the hell is this yeah yeah that's that that side language that side language yeah and suddenly you like uh, sun tu jab upar chadegi na paranji pe chadna hoga i'm like ye kya tu kahan chada raha hai mere ko pain kar raha you were talking to the neighbors you were talking to the neighbors from the other compound like hi what's up and this and that i remember yeah and then suddenly because obviously they were talking to me what you doing and all and i started talking to them and you were like yeah. who is she talking to from up there? i know i know i i have that i think i have that video still <laughs> the video of you suddenly going but the scary part was when um, i was painting and all and then suddenly mm-hmm. you go like acha sweats uh, raat ko na yahan pe saap aate hain i was like kya i bol- remember <laughs> this too i i don't have such a great memory but somehow i do remember this so that was the first time i think i was like oh god you know like i me literally fatri the paint karte hue because suddenly you're like you know you're all cool and you're all said making your video uh, documenting mm. the thing you're doing and suddenly you come like sweats yahan pe na saap aate and the first time i thought you're kidding you think like, like, mm. like, dekha hai to main to chala jaunga like, it is true it is true <laughs> it's true so yeah, yeah so The Mud Island bungalow was exactly that, made like from scrap, from a jungle place to a beautiful place like this. Hi, Kanita. Hi, Ashi. So, okay, back to the chat. <laughs> so, yeah, um, that is exactly what you're doing lately. Scrap to fab. That's the motto of Alchemy Design Studio, and that is another thing that you just started. So, tell us something about how did this whole scrap to fab thing come? Like, though it's exactly what Alchemy is, but How did this hmm. extension happen? See, I mean, we were doing a you know a regular architectural and interior design projects, right? I mean, we've done about fifteen in five different categories, but we we were always looking for a way to express our design philosophy 
for the name that we kept you know we're talking about the ethos of the firm right and when we move to a new place we're like this is the perfect opportunity let's tell people what alchemy is you know like this is this is what we truly believe in and we started expressing that in the interiors of this office space where i'm sitting and it's a really really funny story how it started okay i actually was collecting the shower gel bottles for 2 years i had about say 70 75 of them and my mom is like either there's space for you in the house or or these bottles you know both of you all definitely can't be accommodated so and this was perfect timing for me to actually do something out of those bottles so it started with that and then i'm questioning myself that we do so many interior sites and there is so much scrap out there it's True. all going to the ocean and we we just turn a blind eye to it we're like okay we made this beautiful space but what about the impact of all of that trash so we really after the bottles we went all out you know we turned the bottles into the ceiling of our uh, uh, office yeah, i'll show you that in a second people see it yeah absolutely yeah. i'll i'll just tell you the story so because we didn't have enough bottles we had to go to plotter rolls because we needed 500 of the same type oh so you know there it's it's a journey you don't you think of one thing but you have to go through a lot of rounds till you actually execute it so i'll give you a little tour like just a minute i'm going to move the camera sorry about that yes, but i'll have to because we all want to see this i still remember when i came to the office for the first time i was like mesmerized yeah. by every wall that was created it was literally scrap yeah. to fat right so first i'm just showing you that what were the scrap materials that we had at our disposal these are few of them you have sawdust you have bubble wrap you have plumbing pipes you have plotter rolls you have some homeopathic bottles and and now when you look at them i'm i'm sure that this is not what you really think that they can become right and that was the whole idea if you if you look at this wall it's actually made out of bubble wrap which is uh, a packaging material wow you know then you see these plumbing pipes here i mean there's a lot you if you look around bubble, at the office uh, can you go back to the bubble paper wall uh, somebody wants absolutely, to see that yeah, wall absolutely. again yeah absolutely here it is So see guys like you all can see this entire wall is made from the bubble paper wrap and uh, okay there is Sankesh Shabria who is saying that uh, he loves the homeopathy wall we all want to see the homeopathy I, wall I was too. just turning towards that so and, that is the uh, highlight Inshabhi wall of our office he loves the office thank you oh thank you so God, much guys, recommends guys see, this is the homeopathy wall that uh, Sankesh was talking about so Sunny what is this wall exactly made of the homeopathy bottles That's right so this was in collaboration with an artist actually I'm just going to move the screen back here this was in collaboration with an artist he called the pixel car because his work is all about pixels so when you zoom from okay. say the you know macro scale like the bigger scale to the minute you know these small small components can be can be made out of say one unit but when they are stitched together the impact of that is something else so this wall is like a google earth image of some neighborhood yeah. when you look at hey. it you know how you have a flattened image so there's you know the gray stand for the buildings the black stands yeah. for the road network and so on and so forth so I yeah totally it's interesting everything is this wall is truly beautiful and Thank obviously you, you know we usually don't believe like even the smallest things at home what do we do you know hmm. the first thing that comes to mind usually is like forget being an artist or a craft man generally a person hmm. tends to be like are ye raddi wale ko de not exactly how much more they can do from that so there's hidden uh, potential in that correct yeah because it's just like you said you know it's when you started collecting things you realize and when you started crafting things you realize that while crafting also a lot of waste is created so even from that waste you started creating like the bathroom wall that you know the bubble wall or the yes. homeopathy bottles ka wall and uh, so is it from here that you decided to start making products because right now you have a lot of products also that are made from scrap so what are how did that so idea come out this this was just a seed okay okay when people came into the office and we had this fabulous response not only from people belonging to our generation but even the elder generation right that was quite encouraging so i'm like uh, how many people will actually make it to our office i have to be realistic you know true maybe maybe 500 maybe 1000 to the max but if we turn this research into a product form 
it can really go to thousands of people and that's when the message of upcycling becomes stronger so this was more like a showcase to begin with of our skills but it became like we are like why not you know root for this cause and turn it into a movement turn it into products and get more of an audience involved so that even if everyone does if i'm going to do 200% also the difference is going to be that much but if a lakh people do 1% you know yeah. of course what what we're targeting is way uh, way more right so i have thanks, seen thanks, two products one is uh, the you know from the glass crab that you've done which you made into a stationary holder and the best part about it is it also has a lamp so it works like two in one i'm going to put it right here as you talk so <laughs> okay so That's everyone one. this is made okay can you brief us a little about this beautiful product it is one of my favorite products from scrap to fab absolutely absolutely so this is actually uh, let me just hold it up here uh this is glass that was acquired from uh, a demolished building okay now when when you talk to these glass vendors they charge you by the foot telling you that whatever waste glass comes in also has to be accounted into their cost oh. so the small strips that they actually throw away you are charged for as a client but these small strips are going to waste so okay. whether it's these glass vendors or it's a building that comes down all of this extra glass eventually you know either just goes to the landfills and some people recycle it but when you talk about recycling the journey of that is way way longer so our idea was that how how do we you know intervene in this journey and pick up this glass and just work it around without breaking it down to small small pieces and again making wow. it new glass so instead of a you know a linear economy this is like a circular economy that's 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 a concept in sustainability actually it's it's just oh. that you are cutting short the process you are cutting short the process of recycling you are upcycling it as it is so this has been turned into not only a pen stand but it can also become a lamp can you show it a little if you turn it around for the okay sorry i, I don't know if this view is Yeah. yeah absolutely so this is exactly how it looks and guys this is two in one it can be turned into a lamp like you saw and also a stationary holder it is one of my favorite products of scrap to fab so sunny where can we buy it if you could tell our viewers where can they purchase this see right now it's it's directly through us of course we'll be going on amazon very soon we spoke into a few stores a lot of this was uh, supposed to uh, be in effect like about Three months from three months back, but then of course we had a few upsets with the whole Corona thing coming in, right? So uh, we will be updating everyone on our Instagram about uh, the places that this will be available at. Currently, it's directly through us, so y'all can DM us. You can send across so a message. So everyone, y'all can go and follow Scrap to Fab and Alchemy Design Studio on Insta and DM them and purchase your beautiful products. See, I think this product is beautiful. Thank, yes, thank you, Sia. Thank, thank you, Sia. I just saw that. Yeah. And um, Rahul Bachar, uh, thank you. Uh, Karina wanted to see it closely. Karina, I hope the product you could see clearly and you liked it. Uh, yeah, I'm just seeing the comments now. I think I missed quite a few comments, but uh, thank you, everyone. Okay, Sunny, the light. You know, you started the seed paper initiative. That is really Correct. amazing initiative that you've just taken, and uh, you started propagating a lot about it just now. You know, a few days back on Earth Day, you took the whole challenge and everything. So tell mm -hmm. us something about that. See again, if we are talking about making this a mass movement, I'm like everyone. If they take up one simple act towards the environment, it becomes it gives that encouragement for the others also to do it, right? suppose today someone is environmentally conscious they'll come they'll buy our product because they know we are doing all of this and they they cannot they do not have the time to upcycle their waste maybe they have the time to segregate it but they don't have the time to put work into it yeah correct so we like at least you can pledge your support for the movement by taking up any act whether it's you know taking a seed paper which is with the products you you whether you make it a plant or you mm. educate some stranger about sustainability or you just segregate you just segregate your waste so that it becomes easier for the government officials to do their job 
you do that so you in some way are contributing towards the movement towards mother nature and uh, you know it it'll come back to us right today when we're, we're looking at all these calamities and this and that it's what people have done before is why we are suffering so we don't so, want the coming generations to go through that right uh, that's the whole yeah. idea i think yeah. at this point it is really something very important that we all should realize that uh, it is really important to take care of our mother earth because we've really right. taken her for granted and you know today we realize that we shouldn't have so how can we right. take part in the sustainability movement yeah i saw karan also asked that uh, basically if you take up any act whatever you feel is in the interest of mother nature and tag us that's it your your role is done you know may, maybe see what we what we sent out earlier uh, people got a little confused by that you know you yourself got confused when i sent it to you you're like uh, yes, this you... looks like a lot of effort i mean I, i think i put in a lot of text out there so what i was it was because i was trying to tell people about the cause but in short it's an act of sustainability like you had an act of kindness that you're helping someone out so we don't want to define it we we try to give five six options just so that people understand that okay what it is you this is what you could do if they don't know what to do we are like okay these are suggestions but it you can come up with whatever you feel is in the interest of uh, earth and just upload it so it becomes a movement more people know about it it's literally you have so many ch- you have the bottle cap challenge and what not if we do a challenge that's a cause and you got to have fun with it right what we've done is this whole waste segregation option right now where parents can bond with their children and make these words out of bottle caps and this and like that like the one so you people... did on earth like you had earth Eggs. written i think all viewers what you all should do during this quarantine is how about going about the house cleaning the house and thinking of all the waste you have and maybe you can create hmm. a nice word or something and tag alchemy design studio and scrap to fab yeah. and we'll share it on the story So yeah. this is a challenge that all of you can take. Doctor Joe is saying this is amazing. Uh, Kishore or Trajani says great work, Sunny. I totally agree okay. with you. Uh, Shooter Navin Nagpal says a hi. Sonal is also quite amazed hi. by hi. all of this. So hi to everyone. And uh, Bhatija Bharti saying a doctor plant based yeah. life. She says a doctor plant based life. We totally agree with you on. this and we keep seeing your nice food videos that keep coming up now soon you have to take yeah. the sustainability challenge and put up something and tag yeah all, all the viewers have to we we are keeping track <laughs> yeah and we're going to share it on our story so we are really looking forward to see what you're doing with the waste um okay so sunny tell me something hmm. if uh, i'm going to ask you some quick questions okay if you okay, had sure. to design a set out of scrap mm mm-hmm. What set? Okay. Who would you like to design a set for? Set. Okay. So, uh, well, set would be probably probably Rohit Shetty because so you know <laughs> he, he, he's he's, he's got no because he's got he's got so much drama happening so it gives you a chance to you know sort of uh, uh, make something adventurous. Maybe we could maybe we could make a set where uh, which is made out of natural materials. Yeah. and then insects come and feed on it and then it becomes like a set for khatro ka khiladi or something i don't know i mean oh, wow. i'll have to really give it a thought but uh rohit shetty if you're hearing this this is a really cool idea of creating something out of waste <laughs> but if this idea is happening it has to be made by sandeep nagpal where the whole well, thing is you. made and you know the participants are there and the insects are there and the whole thing could take place this sounds really cool Thank you, Kareen. I mean, that's what came off the top of my head, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so some cases, too many cars get wasted. Yeah, and all that waste can be sent to scrap to fab so that we can make some really cool stuff. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we, we, we say, should get into set designing, man. That'll be fun. <laughs> we were saying because he anyways will destroy everything, so then we have the scrap all over again. So that's great. <laughs> so yeah, we can re- keep <laughs> can upcycling it. It's a continuous process. So, you know yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Scrap to fab is all about recycling. So I think Rohit Shetty would be just perfect. So I think Rohit Shetty, you're getting hiccup somewhere wherever you're sitting. So please do come and see our this IG story because we're yeah, going to put this chat. Yeah, audience can take the voice to him. To him, and then we can create this whole recycling thing for y'all, 
and you know Shall you can enjoy the recycling with scrap to fab road shetty don't miss this chance with sandeep nagpal <laughs> uh, thank you usha didi i'm glad you're liking the hair amanda would be really happy to hear that what okay so vk0017 is asking what can we expect coming up from scrap to fab in the near future well uh, firstly hi to pixelkar i just saw him here and invited him and i'm glad he's here he's the guy hi, who Pixelker. helped us with the homeopathic uh, uh, bottle Before wall which is amazing we get back to the amazing. question this homeopathy wall that you've done is really amazing it has a 3d effect and it's just mind blowing like i can go on about this maybe we can go on a chat and i can go on about that wall that wall is really beautiful and it just keeps up to what he keeps saying like how beautiful things can be made out of waste so that's like a perfect example um right. so okay sunny so, back to yeah. the question what coming back to that right see in future see we we definitely were thinking about uh, workshops in general but we had kept the idea on on back foot in a way uh but after this whole covid phase we realized people are spending so much time at home they're saving time on travel they have their uh, kids at home some of the kids are getting onto their nerves so uh how about we create these bonding uh, uh, you know sort of moments between them and we do these diy workshops for kids and not only for kids kids and adults together where they make sustainable products so what i'll do is before that uh, maybe i'll quickly show you a couple of the other products that we've done yes um, please so that you see the difference between a product that needs uh, professional expertise like the carpenters and electricians and painters and all of them and then something that's like a diy so you will understand the difference very clearly once i show you both of them so let's get to the so, diy products okay so diy you want to see first we'll see the our products uh, right after yeah so if i just pick up this I'm just going to get this give me a moment. Now this is something we got done with just like 2 days back, okay? I don't know how much of it you can see. Can yeah, you? we can see. Yes. Okay. So this is actually made from a shoe box, yeah? Oh, okay. And what you what I'm holding here is a shoe box. Wow. And these and... out here as you can see are actually shower gel bottles. Oh, wow. You can see half of it currently, right? and what you see out here is all sawdust these are brushes so this is planned as wow. a landscaping exercise or a gardening exercise for the children and the parents where children learn about gardening skills they learn about sustainability i'm just going to put this back i think you all have had a good look at it right uh can you show yeah. us this a little from away too so that we can see it oh okay yeah sure sure yeah that's how it looks okay so this is exactly how it looks and i think guys uh, what better way to show your children that how important it is to make things out of waste and you know and make something as beautiful as this so it's got it's uh, got yeah tell me have you put any video on how can one make this or something like that we that will be, be putting up we will be coming up with uh, you know webinars live sessions and all and we'll be making a gif yes where uh, people can understand this better so uh, people can follow our scrap to fab page um, alchemy design studio too where we will be uh, educating people about this so the idea is that okay we can make these products and people can buy them we'll be very happy but if people can target this at their homes itself then they are contributing to the movement we're okay we get a little less profit but uh, at least for the cause uh, you know it's it's much better for the cause that's so the people, idea so if you all want to enjoy and see webinars all about scrap to fab you all know whom to follow but i'm again going to repeat alchemy design studio and scrap to fab please go follow their pages and stay tuned in to learn about all the workshops about diy and keep yourself busy and make good things out of waste sunny right. you also have a lot more products that you know which Correct. is obviously made with a lot of help like you said mm. you know we need carpenters and all which we can purchase like i also have this beautiful vase which is made yes, so you do. can you show us some Correct. more of your products so i have a different ver- version of the vase that i gave you so that was the painted version uh, because of course you're an artist i i wanted to give you something that's you know uh, colorful and all but this is the raw version of it wow and personally like uh, i'm 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 more fond of this i have i'm, I'm biased but that's what it is I'm sorry uh, this, I'm biased I'm more fond of the one that I have but this is That's extreme. fine exactly exactly so I I I know that that would work better for you uh, but 
I'll just show you what is inside of it. This is actually a again a shampoo bottle, right? We've got this from you know different houses. We've got them from salons and where not. And we're turning it into a vase. Other thing is that you know every product of ours either uses as a first preference an upcycled material, as a second preference something that is recycled. So this is like a recycled sheet. This is actually wooden chips, if you see, which is compressed oh. into a sheet. Wow! And then the exterior of this is made. And if we do not get an upcycled product uh, material, we do not get a recycled one. Then we like let it at least be biodegradable. That is going to go back to nature. It's not like plastic that's going to be in the ocean and you know, sort of, uh, 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 of course, eat harm like it's life. just going to pollute. Yeah. yeah, it's going to harm life exactly. That was the intention. So this is the second product. And uh, do you want to see the other one Narendra like quickly? Rajipar, sorry, we couldn't reply earlier. Uh, okay. Pixel Car is saying it was a great collaboration working with you. It was. It was really fun, and then we we really resonated. So we're definitely going to be doing more work. In fact, me, you, and uh, him should probably collaborate because you're we an artist. Should, we He's an artist should. and architect. I'm an art- we should do something. Let's all three arts and craft people come together and make something really nice. That'll uh, be fun. That'll be fun for product, sure. Product. Uh, my mom is saying, "Wow, she's anyways a big fan of yours, and she loves all your stuff." So even now she's so saying, much, "Wow." And yes. uh, Vanna Mami is saying, "This is a great going." Sadna Didi has sent lovely emoticons. So much encouragement. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Thank you for coming, attending have. this, and. All the yeah, kind words. Really nice, and it motivates us more to do more and more good, fun stuff. Um, okay, so another product quickly for the viewers because everyone is waiting okay. to see what it is. Hi, sure. Sumitra. So, so Sumitra yeah. has done an article with Sandeep oh, Nagpal, Decodram. Right. Hi, Sumitra. And uh, y'all should follow Decodram and read all about interiors and everything. And Decodram is going to come very soon, live with us, and have a lot more discussion during this quarantine. Awesome, awesome! I look forward to that. Yeah, good thing, Samisha. I look forward to it. Okay, hi, Tina. So this is uh, what is this now? This these are coasters. Again, if you see, this has got sawdust within it. You can customize it if you want to. This is for Ritika, who okay, you know, just hold it our for friend, a second. My, my cousin. Oh, this is for Ritika Nagpal. Yes, yes, this is for her, Ritika this Nagpal. This is amazing. There are a lot of variants of this. We've used different materials. We used bamboo. We've done this for different brands. Some things from bubble wrap. Some things from fabric. This is for Karan, who's attending, the nutritionist. There are Karina colored versions. Karina Adnani is a nutritionist, and we're going to have her live very soon. You have to attend her webinars and everything. Do follow her page. She is extremely sweet and a perfect nutritionist that you should follow. Agreed. Okay, let's get back to the coasters. So yeah, I mean, there's there's fabric. I I don't want to elaborate on each of these, but you can see these on our page. What I mean to say is, we look at anything with the eye that okay, this is going to waste. What can we do about it? Like literally, it it gets me sleepless if I'm like, okay, this is. This is going to waste, and no one's doing anything about it. How can I intervene? So it's not restricted to any one particular uh, product or exercise. It has a broad sort of uh, you know uh, topic. Upcycling is is has become really dear uh, to me. In yeah, the uh, I can see the passion that you have, like from the very beginning when you started the scrap to fab project. And every particular hmm. product that you make, like even now these coasters, they're simple and they're so nice. Like you know the bubble, um, the bubble uh, paper thing. The bubble wrap, yeah, 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 exactly. The bubble wrap thing. Yeah. And even the one that you made for Ritika with the waist, like it looks so pretty. Correct. You know, generally when you yeah. go on a site, like obviously I've gone to a lot of raw sites and I've seen that, but you really can't think of making a coaster out of it. Like that coaster looks really attractive. And uh, even the one that you know with the wood, you've done the chips and everything. So I think Correct. it's a great initiative, and uh, I hope all of us can promote it a little and follow it because it's something really. You know, as an artist, I strongly feel that the creation that you know we can make, it's like giving birth to those little things. So we know how special it is, and you know when something agreed, it's beautiful and it's been appreciated. It motivates us all the more. So guys, if you have. Liked it, which I'm I mean, sure I you should. have. Seeing the I'm going to cut you videos. here and just tell everyone that uh, you know when when I talk about Shweta and creativity, like they go hand in hand. Like I don't know w- what is out there that she's not tried her hands at. 
like from painting to like writing to acting to anything that's in the that falls under the creativity uh you know segment like under the word she's tried it anything under the sun so uh, kudos to that seriously but i and in, in fact you know because yeah. i have you all who keep motivating me and encourage every little thing that i want to do <laughs> no keep going keep going in fact you know uh, you won't realize it probably but at sinful when we had those jallies and we painted on them and we turned them into a railing that was a form of upcycling maybe not under the banner of upcycling oh, yeah, but that is actually, also upcycling right because yeah, when you're using it that you're saying that's what it was actually a jali cool. it was a jali that was converted into a railing which is why thank and you thank you we Kishore, painted we painted the plates we wrote all the sindhi lingos on the plate and put it up on yeah. the wall so correct. yeah simple yeah project. acho sai and Actually, all of those things acho sai and uh, correct to make people welcome and all of that and it all of that correct. was done on the plate so again that's another way of you know using plates and stuff that you have already so that was a real thank thank you rutika that was a, rutika, that was a very interesting welcome. project thank you so much <laughs> with sinful you know what i found really interesting it it's uh, talking about the journey of the sindhi community as they came from there to here and what all they picked up along their journey and how all of this was blended together you know yeah. in and in and, and in absolute harmony with each other so that Everything was quite interesting from the menu and even the way you know you designed it it's so uh, i'm not being biased but i still remember when i came in and you narrated how you're going to go about where we had that lady sitting oh the chula the one with the chula Th- that yeah. that was one of the highlights right in fact that is the highlight when you walk in that magnificent wall yeah the wonderful so, painting when i was again on the paranji <laughs> painting yes yes so, yeah so that <laughs> second paranji created, experience it for you felt like a little sin in itself it was beautiful and obviously that food and all is amazing like yeah you should try the food itself. too it's amazing it's at it's at khar and it's the only sindhi speciality uh, restaurant in bombay so definitely and try it out guys designed it i have painted the wall so please go ahead and have a nice time at just sinful and let us know how you like the place <laughs> uh, akshit uh, ranjan is saying great initiative towards sustainability i totally agree with you okay also you, sunny everyone. a lot of people are asking is it difficult right now to execute these projects uh, execute these projects especially because you know there's been a labor shortage due to covid and all of it so how are you managing it's see i mean everything is difficult right like that if you if if that that's the intention with which you look at it then uh, nothing's ever going to get executed but uh, which is why we are seeing what we can do out here in the studio luckily my studio is in the same building where i stay so i'm spending all day all night out here trying to figure out these things you know i'm trying to think that when people think of the word sustainability yeah they are they are like let's go back to our roots you know let's uh, do things uh, the way it was done 20 30 years back that's true sustainability but what i'm trying to say is why do we have to be anti technology why can't we hmm. marry sustainability and technology we wow. use machines we combine it with we combine the manual and the machine made and you know that will give you something uh, which will stand out in itself which will really stand out so we are uh, this is one i mean I've, you've probably seen this before right even our business card so yeah in a way it is sustainable because it's not using paper right it's using a piece of wood it's a keychain that can be used again and again right again and again. at the same time it's got a qr code so why to be anti technology you have to be relevant to today's times too so uh, the next line of products would definitely be integrating technology within it uh, but let's go one step at a time and uh, let's you we're going to be trying to use digital modes of fabrication that means the machines will also be doing some part of the work so this okay. has been done by a machine okay this out here has been done by a hand by the hand by the carpenters Oh great! So you're going to have a combination so, of both handmade and machine made, and correct. a mix of things, which is a great part in today's time because that's exactly where we are. We are in the millennial age, and we are also going back to our roots. So we are a combination of both. Uh, thank you, Karana, Akshita, Sankash, making you proud. And of course, uh, all of family. Um, okay, Sunny, quickly uh, before we sign out, I want to ask you if you had to. Um, 
talk to four actors who would it be if you had to talk to them about sustainability and give them your challenge okay uh well i would definitely start off with dia mirza because you know she's uh, the sustainability queen if i could call her i mean she's uh, spearheading all movements uh, regarding sustainability uh, the boost by you know that she could give our movement would be uh, would be an honor it would be an honor and uh, of course even uh, uh, gul panak ji because uh, she has been her own house uh, her and her husband are very uh, connected to the to the issue their own house they've designed in a very sustainable manner and uh, she's she's big on that she's also a, a hobbyist she runs this page called the hobbyist world so she relates to a lot of that what we are doing so probably these two and uh, i know there are there are so many of them you know i i, I it's difficult to uh, pick and choose i would i would want everyone to promote it uh, okay. but these two come to mind first so these two i hope you soon connect with them and yeah. uh, they help you take this motivation scrap to fab which is one uh, of the closest i, I have to mention to sorry i have to mention about uh, uh, roshi chopra she just posted about us today we got in touch she uh, got to know about our uh, products and uh, would like to thank her for the encouragement she's also into sustainability she runs a brand rcdc uh, of organic clothing so oh that is amazing roshni i hope you enjoy scrap to fab and you take the motivation further and motivate and promote scrap to fab more we are looking you have to read this to comment that. so sankash says please enlighten donald trump uh uh, uh. <laughs> is that okay that, that's a bigger task than all of this together i guess now <laughs> i think we all might start creating a lot more things out of scrap but that is something like i know so uh, okay i'm going to take names and the products that you've made from the coaster mm-hmm. like you know specifically like say for example the sea dots uh, coaster or the fabric coaster yeah. or the glass pen holder You have to quickly say mm-hmm. what would you want to give from this scrap product to who? Okay, so I'll take the name of the celebrity. Okay, and you yeah. have to the first thing that you want to gift or mm. is what you have to say. Okay, so ready? Wow. Okay, I don't know. Maybe yeah. Yeah, like okay, you just come across and you have to pick one of the things like Santa Claus from. Okay, the yeah, they're all they're all right here, so I can just they're pick right up here. what so, comes okay, to my you, mind. What first. comes okay. to your mind? You quickly cool. pick and show. Uh, so good. the first thing you want to give Shweta Roira. I've already that. given that to you. Come on now, I've already given this to you. So let me show that to people. Of course, this is what I gave her as a vase. This is yes. the beautiful painted vase. You got it at your studio I and your place. So the painted version so of the vase. Totally special to me. Okay, uh, right. Amir Khan. Oh, this is right here because uh, this stands for perfection and. uh you know he's a purist so i would think this one it's just one material so amir khan you know since you are a perfectionist this is the perfect thing for you you can go to alchemy design studio and place your order now for this otherwise we can also gift you but you can place an order and promote it further um, yeah <laughs> okay then we sing then we sing okay well uh, this has to be cookie um i don't know man uh, maybe Maybe I'd have to paint this up. I've got this here, which I didn't show earlier, but it's made out of like uh, paper cups and all. The idea was to make it out of coconut shells. But wow. I would give this one. But I would paint what it up. What is this exactly? Is it, it a lamp? It's a lamp. It's a lamp. It can become a chandelier if you turn it around. These are plastic pipes. These are paper cups. And eventually, wow, we would like to make is... these out of coconut shells. This is really quirky. Yeah. 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 This is really quirky, and so yes, I'm glad you asked me this. Otherwise, I would have forgotten to show people this. I would have forgotten to show people this if you didn't ask me this question. <laughs> this is really beautiful. Please do make this and upload it on your page. We would love to see it, and uh, it will. is as quirky as Ranveer Singh. I'm sure when he's gonna love it. Um, right. Okay. Um, Karina. Katrina. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Um. This is a tough one, man. I don't know why, but it's a tough one, and I'm. Stop blushing, uh, Sunny. Gift soon. No, no. I mean, I would customize something for her, like uh, of. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'd probably give her this one, but a customized version of it because it's. Uh, I I don't want to get into the reasons for it right now, but okay. This is what I would give her. Okay, Karina Kapoor. 
Katrina Kapoor uh, I probably give her These are tough questions man I don't know me <laughs> It's probably going to be another coaster, but it's all going to be customized as per uh, you know their their personality. So like within this again, I would I would need to add something like a like a stencil effect onto this with uh, something she likes. Akshay so, Kumar. Akshay Kumar would be adventure. So I would probably want to do a space for him, which which yeah, is as adventurous as our space. It would probably have. So if you look at this, wait. Now that you ask me this question, yeah. If you look at these suspended uh, rods above these are wow. reinforcement rods from our sites and i'm sitting under them they are like 200 300 kgs and of course they're on they're you know suspended through these thin uh, strings and uh, of course this this uh, table too it's a 500 kg table so i'd like to make an adventurous space where he can probably also do his workouts maybe you know we had something someone doing pull ups on this when he wanted to test it out So it would be a combination of adventure and fitness, maybe. And it would be a space. If that homeopathy wall you had to make for some actor, who would it be? Wow, man! Shweta, these are tough questions, man. I'll have to really think about these. <laughs> okay, <laughs> homeopathy wall. Give me some time on this one. I really don't know who to pick. You don't have time. You're already... doing a rapid fire. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hi, Amit. गुनानी Why didn't uh, I think of that? He is somebody who would really appreciate something like this. So yeah, my okay. Now I'm feeling that. bad. I didn't think about that. That's right. He would really get it. He would really. He get would it. get it. He would appreciate it. He would understand the whole. Absolutely, he's an architect, and yeah, yeah, it makes it makes so. It makes a lot of sense. Sorry, okay. man. On this one, and, I I just couldn't <laughs> think of anybody. <laughs> and the last question: This beautiful DIY. Oh, uh, thing that you know we showed everyone that you've made the mm -hmm. plant landscape. Who would you want to yeah. give that before we sign out? I would want to give that to uh, the Dia Mirza. Dia Mirza, we are going to look out for you, find out how to get yeah. in touch with you, and that is coming very soon to you. Hope you like it. And for now, we are signing out. I hope everyone has enjoyed this crab to fab session. Shweta, this I was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. I'm glad you enjoyed, Seriously. and uh, I hope everyone enjoyed, and everyone is going to follow this motivation. La Patiala, thank you, thank you, Karina Adnani, thank you, thank everyone. Thank you, Gunani Ahmed, thank you, everyone. Uh, so, everyone, please do follow Alchemy Design Studio and um, Scrap the Scrap Fab, the Fab, and please, please take this for the. Not only for us, but for Mother Earth, this is the least we can do for her. So please go ahead, promote it, be a part of it, and bye for now. We are going to come back soon with some really nice sessions. Thank you, guys. Thanks for attending and all the encouragement. Take up the act of sustainability. Bye, bye for now. Bye. See you, Shweta. See you.